here on a runway because for some reason Brady has printed out the first one million digits of pi on a continuous mile long piece of paper which we are going to very carefully unravel today and go for a tour of a million digits of pi. So here's 3.14159, which, if, fun fact, that's as far as I've memorized. And then uh, it carries on, and you've marked every 10, every 10 digits. So there's 100,000 marker points through, so we won't get lost. We'll always know where we are in Pi. Where's the Feynman point? Is that 700 and something? Is this the Feynman point? It's six nines, nine 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 nine. So that won't be beaten. There is a string of seven threes, but that takes another seven hundred and ten thousand digits. So we'll be nearly three quarters of the way down the mile of pi before we find a longer string of the same digit. And the first one is within the first two meters. Absolutely incredible. Do you want these for that? Bring the stable gun back. We've just hit 123 yards, and so we're long past the familiar bits of pi. So the whole 3.14159, that was a long time ago. You think anyone who's memorized pi, we're now in unfamiliar territory. Apart from one guy, that is the world record for memorizing pi. So someone recited, what is that now? We're over 125 yards of pi. Someone memorized all the way up to here and couldn't be bothered to remember the next Zero. Well, not even a third. There is a run here of seven ascending digits. There it goes. Zero, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. That is the first run of a seven digits that go up. Obviously, we're missing one, two, and three. It would be nicer with them, but nowhere in the first million digits do you get zero to nine in order. So that's three in three, the other three hours. Found some heavy bases of cones, we'll pop them in the back. We're half a mile from the start, and the trolley team, are they on the horizon? Okay, Pi has just got a horizon. Okay, see that four there? It appears every now and then, it's a square number, kind of fun. But then, for here, you go, wait, there's no fours. No four, no four, no four. In fact, there's no fours until there. That one there, look at that! 157 digits, and there are no fours. There are no fours for that entire run. They've just vanished. And that is the longest run we will have in the first million digits that has one digit completely missing. With a million decimal places of pi, each digit should appear approximately 100,000 times each, that makes sense. But of course, it's not exactly even. Some of them don't even make it. There are not 100,000 zeros, zero doesn't make it, one doesn't make it, six, seven, and eight all don't make it. The champion, though, is five. There it is, that there is the 100,000 five. Okay, we're four hours into this and we are nearly at a million digits. So they've been coming out at a rate of a quarter of a million digits an hour, which is uh, approximately 4,167 digits a minute. And we're, we're almost there. So, I mean, you guys have done the hard work. You want to wind off the last of this. And a million digits is there. There. All right, so that is, there is one, it's a one in case you were wondering. So there you go, we have just, uh, I mean, I, th I think a token round of applause. Uh, so. Yeah. 
So that is absolutely fantastic. And now the very quick process of rolling it all back up again before an aeroplane lands. Believe it or not, we printed all million digits of pi using about 8 millilitres of ink. There, that's what 8 millilitres looks like. That's because of HP's clever thermal inkjet technology, combined with some very clever people here at HSA Systems in Denmark. To see the whole story of how and why we made this film, check out the links on the screen and below in the video description. It also includes extra footage from our day out on the runway and more curious stuff about Pi itself.